This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys, let's get started. So I would like to welcome you all to this uh, uh, SCCM uh, overview session, wherein I will be giving you the details about SCCM training, how the training will get conducted, the duration, <clears throat> and uh, what all things will be covered in this training so first of all <clears throat> i <clears throat> excuse me guys i would like to introduce myself my name is kashif i am from mumbai i have 30 uh, 13 years of uh, practical it experience i am a bsc IT graduate from Mumbai University and after completing my graduation I started working in IT field wherein I worked in various uh, technologies uh, but SCCM was my primary focus so I worked in <clears throat> service desk profile and then SCCM level 1 level 2 level 3 and now I'm working as a um, architect wherein I design and implement technologies for the companies so I have implemented SCCM in various companies so far. Now, apart from this uh, project and implementation task, I am basically involved in uh, training. Right? I do training and uh, um, the project task. So I have taken more than uh, hundreds of uh, training so far, wherein I have uh, trained more than 30,000 students globally. I take uh, online training, classroom training, offline training, corporate training. <clears throat> so that is my, uh, basically, um, that's about me, guys. Uh, now let's focus on the SCCM part. So the duration of this training is going to be 35 days. Okay. Daily, we are going to do one hour session monday to friday okay daily one hour session we will do monday to friday now <clears throat> the time right what time we will do sccm session it is 9 a.m ist india time i am also starting in tune right uh, in tune session from tomorrow and that is uh, the duration for in tune is uh, 30 days okay and daily uh, one hour session for in tune to monday to friday okay and that is basically going to start at 7 a.m 7 to 8 okay the Intune and SCCM is 9 a.m. So these are two different courses, SCCM and Intune, uh, which are getting started from tomorrow. Uh, so SCCM at 9 a.m. and Intune at 7 a.m. Now let's uh, uh, discuss about the the course content. So if you have not received the course content, I will share with you the course content. So the course content is right here. So this is going to be for 35 days, daily one hour session. Uh, we have uh, 16 modules. So starting from module one, wherein we will be discussing about the site, site roles and benefit and the architecture. Then from module two, we will start our, uh, we will start doing our practical and we'll have our SCCM server ready. Then discovery and organizing resources managing the configuration manager client managing inventory and software metering query and reporting data managing software deployment 
and using application and package model deploying and managing software updates managing operating system deployment right endpoint protection using sccm managing compliance setting and profile mobile device management i will also include some of the intune uh, aspects you know the basic information of intune i will add that one into sccm session configuring power management remote control overview of config manager site maintenance addition of new secondary site and other miscellaneous topics so these are going to be covered in the um, session for 35 days it is going to take 35 days to finish all the topics so that's the course content now we currently don't have any exam so for in for sccm we don't have an exam previously we used to have 20 hyphen 243 they got expired then 70 hyphen 703 they got expired we don't have any exam at the moment now why in why sccm okay why do we need sccm so sccm is basically a device management solution so suppose you have sccm server what you do you manage devices you have like hundreds of devices or thousands of devices let's say there are 10000 devices in new york right 20000 devices in chennai right let's say uh, 10000 devices in mumbai okay and 5000 devices in london so how do you manage these devices we will be managing these devices from sccm server sccm will be deploying applications right updates right policies then operating system right configuration right power management or power policy right so there are n number of things sccm does sccm will be able to have complete control on the devices okay it will have complete control on all these devices so that's the reason we need sccm suppose if you have to install google chrome on these 10000 devices so you can use sccm if you have to install updates the latest version of updates on these 5000 devices you can do it from sccm if you have to install if you have to dip, uh, install windows 10 operating system on these 10000 computers you can do it from sccm right if you have to deploy some policies on these 20000 devices you can do it from sccm so sccm is basically a device management solution which will help you to manage devices now what all devices you can manage from sccm you can manage windows 10 windows 11 right you can manage windows server as well windows server which server 2016 because 2012 is already gone now 2019 2022 then you will be able to manage mac os as well mac operating system okay so currently sccm is managing windows 10 windows 11 windows server and macbook okay linux is gone you cannot manage linux devices you cannot manage android and iphone devices through sccm all good guys everyone yeah all good hmm? All good, Kashif. Okay, so now why you should learn SCCM? Okay, uh, reason to learn SCCM. Point number one it's a matured technology, matured one. Why? Because it is there. It started. Uh, it started by Microsoft in the year 1994, right? As SMS, System Management Server. 
so it started as sms in 1994 then in the year 2007 they changed the name from sms to scm that happened in the year 2007 multiple versions released in in between 1994 and 2007 then multiple versions released between 2007 and 2019 so now the new name is MECM Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager and that happened in the year 2019 okay so previous the first name was SMS second name SECM third name is MECM Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager previously we used to call it as System Center Configuration Manager or SMS System Management Server but the new name is this is the new name the latest name is MECM Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager okay now what is the latest version of MECM that is MECM 2309 what is 23 23 means 2023 09 is September last month they have released this version MECM 2309 that's the latest version of SCCM at the moment so if you calculate the number of years from 1994 to 2023 you will see the number of years how many years 29 years this product is there in the market so it's a matured product right SCCM reason to learn SCCM, point number one, it's a matured product. Point number two, you will see SCCM in almost all big size and medium size companies. Almost everywhere you will find SCCM. Point number three is good vacancies. You have good vacancies. Point number four, you have good salary as well. So those who are in US, like Yashwant, you can expect a salary of $50 per hour as per the statistic as per the average salary $50 per hour those who are in India you can expect a salary of 8 lakh per hour uh, sorry per hour per year <laughs> not per hour 8 lakh rupees Indian rupees average salary per uh, year good salary good vacancies point number five um less competitors you don't have many competitors of sccm right then uh, point number six is uh, easy to learn why it is easy because you don't have any programming languages you don't have any coding languages so no programming no coding okay everything is pre-configured you just have to use the uh, console uh, the steps are there you have to use those steps to perform the task so no coding no programming okay now point number eight is uh, no programming right now i must tell you one thing that if you compare with sccm and intune as per the job market job market so SCCM job vacancies is less and Intune vacancies are more. Okay. Now if you compare with the learning, suppose which one is will be little tough and which one will be easier. So Intune will be more easier rather than SCCM. SCCM will be little tough. Okay. Uh, so those who are from non-IT background like Yashwant, okay, so if 
you are planning to choose a career between SCCM and Intune. So I teach both of them, but I would like to give you a right direction. Okay, if you have good vacancies of SCCM, then it's okay uh, at your end. But as per my experience and my uh, research, what I see is most of the people are going on Intune now uh, for device management. Server yeah, management okay. will be done Companies by SCCM. Are preparing both, right? Yeah. If you know both the both the technologies, then it is better. Basically, people who are uh, good in SCCM and Intune, chances are very high to get selected because uh, most of the companies uh, have SCCM and now they are moving towards Intune. Intune. So they don't want to yes. hire two different people. They would like to continue with the same person who has good command over SCCM. So if you are planning to learn both of them, so start with SCCM first and then go to Intune. It will be better. Okay. So it will be easier. So that's all up to you guys. You choose what is, um, you know, what you would like to choose. But as per my experience, I'm giving you the insight, understanding as per the job market, plus the learning, uh, which one will be easier, which one will be tough. Because I teach both of them. So for me, it's not a problem. But you you decide yourself. I'm giving you the information. Okay. So now for SCCM, these are the eight points which you can consider to choose a career. Okay. It's a matured product. Almost all big size, medium size companies have this one. Good vacancy, good salary, less competitor, easy to learn, no coding, no programming. Okay. Now, after this training, you can show at least two years of experience. Okay. Experience. To, on your resume, okay, uh, that I have two years of experience uh, working on SCCM profile, then you cannot go as a fresher. If you go as a fresher, chances are very high you will get rejected because SCCM, Intune, these kind of jobs need at least two minimum two years of experience. So after this training, you can show two years of experience because my training will start from scratch. So we will do the practical. So either we do the practical. So how we are going to do the practical lab? So we can do practical either local or we can do it on Azure Cloud Data Center. So these two options are available. So once you finish this training, so I will also give you a sample resume. So you can take that resume and make some changes there and apply to the job portals. Okay. So after this training, you need to apply for apply to job portals, right? like Nokri, Monster, Dice, Indeed, LinkedIn. You have to keep your resume there on these job portals and attend at least 10 interviews. So if you attend 10 interviews, minimum, uh, maximum 10 interviews, you have to attend and then one, you will definitely get selected in one of the, uh, one of the organization. Okay. So that is the learning curve uh, and the practical and the experience, guys. Okay. Any question from anyone? Nothing from me. Ayush, Ravindra. Sumit, Rishikit. Uh, no question. Nothing from my side. Okay, uh, I can, one... can you tell, please tell us the configuration, configuration that we needed for the lab purpose, the machine configuration. Machine configuration minimum, minimum, you need to have 12 G GB RAM. 
a four core processor and at least uh, 200 GB free SSD hard disk for local this is for local setup minimum this configuration is needed as a prerequisite if you don't have this configuration then simply go on Azure Azure cloud data center a free we will take free trial for 30 days okay 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 Clear? Yeah. Got yep any question from anyone Yeah, Kashif, uh, can we take uh, both the classes parallelly or uh, we want to finish the XCM first and uh, later on we can go? No, I will, not, I will not suggest you to go parallelly. Why? Because it will be too heavy to digest. Plus, yeah. you will not be able to do the assignment because there will be some assignment from SCCM side. There will be some assignment from uh, Intune side. So you will not be able to do that and you will lose the track and you will lose interest. So my yeah, recommendation, go, so. yeah. So my recommendation is to go step by step. So just like Sumit, Sumit is my student. He has done one of the courses. Now he is he is come going to the second one. Okay, sure. Kasha. Thanks for that. Okay. So similarly, if anyone is interested in two, both of them, so do side. Uh, don't do side by side. Better finish first. Yeah, Kasha, and then uh, Do actually, second. I want to ask. Uh, like, do you have any friends here working on SCM or Intune? There are many people are there. I will add you to the group. There are US people, Canada. Are you in US or Canada? Yeah, yeah US. US, okay. So, I will... Yeah, I just want to know, the, let you know. how the market is for SCM mm -hmm. and Intune. Okay. And, I see one person, Shashi Kumar Singh. Shashi. Oh, hey, hi. Good morning. Uh, hi. I joined a little bit late. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this is Shashi here, Kasip. I'm working as a service desk engineer. And yeah, so I just Where? wanted to learn the SSM uh, in Bangalore here in Moza Electronics Company. Okay. You would like to okay. learn SSM? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, I was also there in service desk. Yeah. Oh, okay. I worked there for like uh, three mm -hmm. years, I think. Yeah, initially. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Yeah. Service desk is a broad profile, like desktop support or Windows admin or service desk. These are broad profile. But you have to choose a career down the line, right? So career path needs yes. to be there so that you can... Uh, walk through that career path uh, because you cannot be in service desk for the rest of your life. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Classic. That is the reason I'm just looking for the SHCM and then I'll go for the Intune to understand all the. Sure. Uh, okay, so I'm starting from tomorrow, 9 a.m. SHCM session and 7 a.m. Intune session. As you see, let me uh, give you again. So in tune session will start at 7 a.m. India time and uh, SCCM will start at 9 a.m. India time. Both are going to be for one hour. In tune will be 7 to 8 and SCCM will be 9 to 10 for 35 days, uh, Monday to Friday, daily one hour session. Okay. And if you sure. guys are interested, to continue from tomorrow either SCCM or Intune you need to contact me and enroll to these courses okay this is my contact number 989 235 4331 
plus 91 is the India country code. So you can call me or send me a message on WhatsApp. Then I will uh, let you know the enrollment process and then you can take the session. From tomorrow, we will do the session. Okay, Kashi. Okay, we'll contact you. In Bangalore, in Bangalore, uh, I went uh, to one of the companies, FireEye, that is an antivirus uh, so, uh, company which makes antivirus. I delivered SCCM training there. That, that was in Electronic City. I don't remember exactly where it was. Mm, yes, I did. Okay, so. Okay. If you guys are interested to continue from tomorrow, so you can let me know, call me or send me a WhatsApp message. I will in add you to the group. Okay. Now uh, one okay. second, Kashib. Let me just take the note of this. Once the number I'm just taking. There. No, I cannot take the screenshot. Okay. Nine eight nine two. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank Ashley. you everyone uh, thank you. for joining the session. I hope the session was informative. We'll meet tomorrow bye now bye everyone thank you kashi okay, bye bye thanks for the time thank you kashi thank you kashi bye